Good evening, hello people. Bit bored tonight. It is one of those nights when you're restless. So, might as well share with you what's going on in uh, John's classic garage. Come with me. I'll show you the, the verdict of, of uh, today's tale. Uh, like I said to you many times, in many occasions, I'm not machinist, but common sense is must in my schooling, in my life. I always think twice, unless I have to say to someone to F.O., which probably I do twin think twice even that, but then when you have to say it, you say it. Well, this is a, one of those things where if I had a chance to say it, I would say it, but I, I didn't. Let me show you what happened. This machine is a beautiful little thing, everything works fine. And I'm 100% sure that you would agree with me that these tiny little bolts are not able to hold a 1.6 ton. There's no way in the, in the bloody world. Uh, these are the bolts that they just put in afterwards. This one is original. These other two are not they are just made up they just put there why I'm saying all this the other at the other video I was telling you how I was uh, making a bit of a handle handle for the for the lathe of mine well I come to the to the situation that uh, these this bit of a, a steel or material needed to be drilled on uh, on a bit of an angle in order to in order to accommodate the handle. Now that's what I that's what I was going to do on this beautiful mill. Once I started to raise the table, thing didn't move, and I thought to myself, uh-huh, something is wrong somewhere. So I tried to lower the table. That didn't work either. So the motor is running, motor for the for that uh, for the rise and, and lower the table is is working fine. So after consulting with uh, Mr. Bruce, I I asked him what to do, and he said to me that uh, must be that the spindle bolts are there. Then. That was not enough of the information for me to proceed with the, with the job, so I um, managed to acquire the parts manual for this, this particular machine. I show it to you. It is actually for 837 and 857. And uh, if you look on the page number 60, 63, I think it is. No, it's, it's a further down the line. Bear with me. Bear with me doing this with one hand, so it's a bit awkward. There we go. There we go. I got hold of of this this beautiful drawing of that thing 
and that shows you exactly how and what needs to be done in order to strip that column and all this business with a column now I don't want to go unless unless I really have to because the, the the bolts the, the tiny little bolts which were in those buggers over there on the box them three little one they have uh, especially on this um, Allen key one which is one on the right hand side that has had the stripped material on the on it which is which is cast iron obviously so that cast has been left on it because what they probably did when they when they saw what they did they just quickly uh, left the thing as it was you know just just so it's and quickly pull out of the out of the power i asked previously if i could come around and uh, and pull the thing out by myself but they wouldn't allow me nevertheless they made a bit of a mess and uh, i'm here to fix that mess so plan of attack is to find uh, bigger bolts and uh, try to place them in without threading or without anything anything whatsoever one of those holes is badly damaged the other two i have i have had a look but i couldn't see much because it was all greasy it was all dirty so tomorrow morning what i'll do i'll just um, try to screw these things up back into the position where it was and see if those uh, screws are holding properly if not what what do what would i have to do then is um, is a dismantle all that and bring it down and then pull those um, as you you can see where the where the allen key is down the bottom there's only two screws down there left and right you pull them out and once that spindle is down you can pull all that outside and then uh, drill and tap new holes and and Bob's your uncle she be she be fine again but I try to not to do that if possible because uh, I'm hoping that those holes have been threaded all the way and if they have then then I'm hoping that the bottom part of the hole would have uh, enough enough of the thread to to hold that so we'll see we'll see how that's gonna pain tomorrow and uh, and that'll be that'll be it if that works if, if it doesn't work one way it's gonna work the other way I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on that uh, on that handle of mine which is where it is here it is so this has come up nicely I pressed the, the one bit into another as you can see probably you can actually this way oops too close there you go you can see the difference where the where the different color of material is so that's that and all it needs to be done now is to sorry for this is to fix this handle somehow like that and it, until the original handle come about that'll that'll use it for 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 now so yeah that is what is happening in the Jones, Jones classic garage and um, thank you for watching guys and, and I'm a bit disappointed with that because they should know better they should know better nevertheless this machine has a has a high bolt just just above there is a hole there and I'll show you where it is it's just it's just there and it's a it's a 14 mil or 16 16 mil uh, 
high bolt which is good for two and a half ton and they were saying to me that this machine has a five ton and I said to them there's no way in the bloody world and then I'll check obviously it's 1600 kilo it's it's not what what they were saying but anyway guys I can't wait for for this machine to start crumbling and making chips and obviously once it does I'll keep you posted and uh, let you know what's going on until that thing happen I wish you all the best I wish you good night because I'm gonna go to bed now shortly once I have a bit of a shower and tidy up and uh, hopefully tomorrow this will be up and running and since it's um, it's a sort of a lockdown situation in here as well there's not much of the movement so I move around my garage plenty space for me even though everything is chockers doesn't matter I love it and I wish you do too I wish you all the best take it easy take care and thanks for watching cheers all the best